let's lock in baby it's been so long and i know all of the fighting homies on the war jojo joseph channel been waiting on me to come back to some joseph vincent so we're definitely diving right back in man saw a bunch of people telling me i needed to check out the god of movie tie okay let's see what's up with Baka. Baka. the living legend Walk out! Walk out! Walk out! The White Lotus Buakau for Premier. Buakau. Muay Thai Terror. Who reigned atop the kickboxing world for the better part oh. of two decades. Oh my god! He just let a man stand there and then knee. Oh my god. I didn't even know somebody could get his. They're that close and he got his calf. How did he just hit him with his calf? Oh my god. Is this movie. T I ain't never. I have not been that active on the movie Thai shit. I might need to start watching some of it. This is. Oh my god. Imagine he caught him with that punch. Imagine he caught him with that punch. Oh. An icon. What the? F Did he just? What was that? Be stopped. What did Veggie Tales do? And was that a planted piece of seb? So, uh, I said celery. Celery? Icon, who struck fear into the hearts of his opponents. <laughs> An ageless wonder who racked up an otherworldly 239 wins. 21 years experience, and yes, he's only 29. I'll take it back. I would take that. I can, I can take that. Easy. To the power of determination. The White Lotus. Buakau. 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 Ah. Board film. Da, 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 da. Thailand. Birthplace of the art of eight limbs. Stop my tongue. Muay Stop Thai. it. Buakau began training at age seven. For poor children growing up in Thailand, joining a Muay Thai gym was Avatar? may be the only chance they've got seven? for a better life. I was still sucking my thumb at seven. Oh! Oh! Children as young as seven are regularly paid to fight. Buakau's paid? The life of a Muay Thai fighter is one of complete dedication, even as a child. Doing nigga and doing neck exercises with a boulder. Couldn't couldn't even paid me to get in the ring with bro. Couldn't even training paid me to get in the ring with this little nigga. <laughs> Niggas really just be kicking celery. Matchumek had his first fight at eight years of age. Tons of experience. For the Thai master. By the time he was grown, oh, his striking was second to none. To some, the 10 hour training schedule may seem like a hard lifestyle. 10 but it hours? Is all has ever known. What? Oh my god, what's up fan? How you doing gang? I'm doing good man. This is scaring the hell out of me, but in December of 2002 he won the Toyota Marathon 100 
240-pound tournament Lumpini Boxing Stadium, beating the highly regarded Kobayashi of Japan in the, the K-1 World Grand Prix, a one-night tournament oh my God, like Mortal which Kombat. pitted the best kickboxers from around the world against one another. This is uh, truly a great event. We got some of the biggest names here tonight. There's too many world class fighters. wasn't meant to compete in the Grand Prix. He was an alternate and was called to replace the number one ranked high fighter. An alternate? This is Green Rookie's first taste of fighting a champion. Buakau was pitted against John Wayne Parr in his first match. It was the chance of a lifetime for the 21 year old kid. No one gave him a shot. He was just lucky to be there. Damn, so they didn't even believe in bro for real. Oh, he about to make quick work out of this. I'm calling it right now. He about to mop this kid up. Tip kick. Front kick off the elite leg. It's taking the balls of the feet into the midsection. A very painful technique. Oh. Now who possesses oh. some of the hardest leg kicks and rip kicks in the world. It was a close match. Bukow won narrowly on points and advanced to the next round. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to like just shock the world or something. But him winning alone probably shocked the world because he was so unknown, you know? Certainly, uh, if Buka can uh, ma make an upset here, this is going to catapult him uh, right up the top of the ladder in the uh, world rankings. It's uh, going to be highly unlikely. Takeyuki was the second best Japanese kickboxer of the time and the tremendous odds favorite. <laughs> In kickboxing, you can catch your opponent's leg and follow up with one strike, but only one strike. Oh. Takayuki deliberately went for a second strike. Oh, he got DQ. A dirty move. Buakau was rightfully upset and responded. Oh yeah, I'd have beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah, I'd have beat the shit. He he. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He about to turn up now. See, that's crazy, because he was probably already mad, but now he about to beat some ass. Now he about to beat some... Would. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. By ragdolling Takayuki. Over. And oh. over. This is going to be a, certainly a, a big test for Bukal. Oh. Raining knees and leg kicks. Oh, my God. I bet he couldn't walk after this, bro. Face sent the crowd into a frenzy. Oh! Yeah, people love it when somebody dirty, like somebody's like super dirty. That just gave me the chills, bro. But when somebody's like super dirty or whatever, and then they get their ass kicked, people love that shit. Payback is a bitch. It was a statement win that had advanced Buakau to the final round. His third fight of the night, this time against the number one ranked kickboxer from Japan, oh. Masato. Masato was the heavy favorite and expected to intro. stamp out the brash upstart Buakau. With the entirety of the martial arts world watching, Buakau seized his moment. Oh, he won the whole tournament, bro. Oh. Oh. oh, The White Lotus attacked from the start. He dominated every moment of the fight. Using teeps, knees, and roundhouses. Yeah, those are big, hard shots that Bukow is throwing to the body, and I know it would fold up most people. What kind of world is it where a nigga can be right in front of you, and then the heel of his foot can just hit you in the chin? Oh my God! The fact that people signed up to do this is crazy, bro. It's cr like I guess you think like, oh, I could probably just close the space. But this fucker over here is, oh my God.
he pushed Masato all over the ring. Oh! To, uh, Could you imagine being a spectator of this and thinking like, oh man, like I'm about to see like my favorite person that I've always wanted to watch in the ring, like just win a tournament. And then all of a sudden, everyone that you've ever like thought were like the best people just get their ass kicked by the most unknown person in the world. That bro, he had to make fa like all of these people in this arena in this on this day became fans of this dude. Bro, this was probably everything for him. Load a little bit by the onslaught of the uh, the big shots that Bukhaus thrown. Buakau, it's a master of timing. Great oh. pace, great power, great speed as you can see right there. Broke his shit. certainly uh, brought the art of Muay Thai to the world with his superior fighting skills. When the final bell rang, Buakau There is no way you can take those rings. For what was certainly a victory. Right? What? The judges' bias for their hometown Japanese star called the match a draw. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fucking misfits all over again, dude. If the match is a draw after three, they fight an extra round. Knock him the fuck out. Knock him the, the fuck out. The judges thought they'd done Masato a favor. Knock him the fuck out. Knock him the fuck out. Knock him the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Do it again. This. Do it again. So Break every broken. fucking bone in his body. Uh, come, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come, come on. Had fought three come on. Three matches and 11 rounds in a single night. Yeah, who won that fight, bitch? Who won that fight? Yeah, 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 little bitch. And in the end, not even biased judges could keep him from his destiny. Well, Bulacow's a legend in the sport, of course, but I think the big thing that Bulacow did was he went abroad and fought, so the whole world got to see how good he was. Bulacow was now the K-1 Max champion. Wow. What? What is this? Is a show? He returned home to showcase his new title, appearing on magazines and in TV shows. That's so cool. I bet he was like a legend in his hood. He like Pacquiao out that bitch for real. I want to see him do that with a real tree. I need to see some bark. K1 World Max 2004 World Champion. But never forgetting what got him to this particular place. Hard work. He trains in the old school way. His is a body forged by nature. Oh, my boy is doing the marumba or some shit. Of Muay Thai fighters. What makes one person a champion and the other one? Ah. There's certain people that grow up with a tremendous hunger. When you grow up comfortably, that will produce a very balanced person, but it will not create the will and the determination and the hunger that you need to be the best in the world. Bro, to fight four at night? The gym was flooded? Bro is a dog. A dog. His eternal proximity to nature has given him a simple appeal, an appeal which hasn't faded with his champion status. I wonder how much money he made for the event. He 
quickly became known as the best striker in the sport. Bro, like, how does that feel? Like, bro, like, getting hit with those legs, like, that shit's gotta hurt so bad. Like, bro, your legs and body gotta feel like jelly after taking that many hits. Like, and Muay Thai, for whatever reason, I mean, you go to Muay Thai events and uh, they're rabid and it's like a very deep community of people that really understand and appreciate the sport. Yeah. And they'll play the Thai music and they wear all the Mong Kong on their head. They, they bow to their trainer and, thing and they go out there bicep. and elbows and smash and kicking yeah. legs and it's amazing to watch. Same thing as kickboxing more or less Muay Thai? It's the hardest. It's the hardest. <laughs> How do you like train your body to take those hits? Like, God damn, the very dude. best at the King of Martial Arts and Huacal Port Bremick just continues to add to his legacy. Twenty thousand people, capacity crowd at the Globe and Arena. It is packed to the bursting point, yeah. Buakau put on a switch kick clinic. Oh! Oh, that looked so much more devastating. Oh, that looked so much more devastating than it was. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I know he's blocking those, but that shit hurts. I know that hurts, bro. Battering the man over and over until his body turned red with welts. Oh. Hey, shout out to him for not dropping, though. Jesus Christ. It's a spiritual man if you get to meet him. He fights first for his king, for his country. Here, he delivers the king of Thailand? Left, a punch his opponent didn't see coming. Boom, perfect timing. With each fight, I didn't know he had the his punches like that. grew. He returned to defend his titles in the 2005 Grand Prix. There's no way he went again. It was the golden era of kickboxing. And Buakau took on the best of the best. The fact that they hold these tournaments all in one day, like, bro, they got to start doing stuff like this for, like, UFC, boxing. This would be, this would be so amazing to watch. Like, are you telling me I, would, I could sit there for, like, Five hours, and instead of just watching a bunch of bums fight and warm up, like you get all the best people together and make them fight right after another. Like, oh my, like that takes so much. Like, that truly would help. Like, I forgot what it's called, but there's this thing. I think there was like an American guy that went and did it. Um, it's, it was, I think he was like a soldier, but it's where you have to fight, like, I think it's called a Kamate. What is it called? You have to fight like a hundred people, and it's like they're like all black belts. And so you literally like one after another, it's just fight, 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 fight all the way. And if you can make it all the way through a hundred people, you're like a fucking legend or some shit. His first match was against Albert Kraus. Kraus was a champion from 2001. I think it might've been a Gacy that did it. Round number one is underway. It was more of the same. Oh my god, he's already hurt. He's already hurt. Oh my god, he beat the shit out of that nigga. Oh my god. Even if his opponents block his attacks, they are still left battered and bruised. Oh my god. Advanced to his second straight K1 Grand Prix final. He'd take on Andy Sauer.
Nah, they're like floating lights like that? That looks so cool. It was a rough and tumble affair. <laughs> Buakau clearly delivered the most. I would be like, all right, ref. All right, ref. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's the first round. This nigga already got his foot up on my neck. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god, I would have quit so fast. Most devastating attacks. Wokow says that he respects his opponent. Am I get sponsored by McDonald's? Lots of clinching. Oh, that got him. That got him. That knee to the thigh right there. But as with any combat sport, the judges really suck. What? Dude, they gotta, they gotta, bro, come on, man. Yeah, the 100 man Kumai. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. He'd been denied his back to back title. <laughs> Rather than sulk, he returned to the gym with even greater focus. Nah, because all I'm thinking about now is, you know what? Now I need to make it, like, after this happens twice in my life, it's like, all right, you know what? Now I need it. Like, it sucks for the person that has to come in the ring for me, but now anybody that steps in the fucking ring with me, like, they got to leave on a fucking stretcher. Like, nah, you know, I don't even, you shouldn't even be able to stand to put your hand up. Nah, hell nah, hell nah, hell nah. This ain't happening again. He this ain't happening again, bro. Like a Muay Thai phoenix, rising again to scorch the hopes and dreams of would-be competition. That is dirty. More elite version of kickboxing. Yeah, so. because it's elbows and knees. Mm. Look at the guy a holding the bag. Work, a lot of dumping where they trip you and slam you to the ground. And it's a hard sport, man. It it's is just, you feel as like hard as it comes. God. Here is the return in the ring of the former <laughs> king of K1 Max, a living legend. He's an ambassador of the Thai culture. He's uh, wearing his, uh, the Mon Con. His coach is going to remove him now after he plays for him. I have a feeling. This is an experience that Calvo will never forget. God. God. At this point, Bulacau was already an icon of the sport. And he puts a oh, second shot to the lever. Oh, David Calvo oh, my God. in obvious pain. Bulacau gets it done before the end of the first round. He fights for his king. What a lever punch. The legend is back home. What a story. Buakau entered the 2006 K1 Max Grand Prix. beyond quit. I'm seeking to recapture. I'm retiring. I might become a banker title. after that shit. Oh my god. This nigga make, if somebody make me look that easy in the ring. He entered the tournament. Not it's as like, an underdog. It's the same. It's like what's his name from Phase that was fighting in the uh, fighting the Miss. He just kept getting rocked by everybody. What the fuck is his name? But as top dog. Oh. Hey, it's time to go back to trick shots, fam. His first match would be against an old rival, Yoshihiro Sada. Oh, yeah, fuck a rival. He beat his ass. Hands up high. They're not even on the same wavelength. Look at this. Look at this. It was remarkably not his kicks, but his boxing that dominated. Oh my god, knock the blood out that nigga. Knock the blood out that nigga, chat. Oh my god. 
When did he get better at striking like that? His game had evolved, and the rest of the fighters were in big trouble. Oh, this is this the same guy from the last tournament? This is the same guy. He set up a match with the famed Ivan Drago. Oh, no, what? No, wait, scratch that. It's Gago Drago. My, my oh. bad. I was about to say, what? Gago Drago. He put on a master class against Drago. Oh. Ah. Ah, ref, save me. Ref, please. Ref, I'm asking. So who you trying to try spin kick, my boy? tool in his repertoire to thoroughly dominate. That was the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen in my life. That was the most disrespectful shit in my, oh my God. Oh my, in front of everybody? In front of, you just gonna catch me and throw me to the ground? Oh my God, he, that, he, nah, he fucked up. Nah, he fucked, nah. This set up the rematch with the man who had won the decision over Buakau last year. Oh and yeah, I'm sending that nigga straight to the grave. I'm sending that nigga straight to the grave. Oh yeah, this is about to be it right here. Oh yeah. This time, he wouldn't leave it in the judge's hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, what's up? Remember these? You remember these kicks? I bet you ain't felt nothing like this. Oh, oh, at the spleen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Blasted oh my God. Knocking him down again and again. The White Lotus, Buakau Porpramik, the first fighter to win the K1 World Max title on two different occasions. Oh! Oh! He folded! Look at this Nick. Goodbye. 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 There. There. Out of way. Out of way. Right over to the judges' table. Right over to the judges' table. See, my boy got mad respect. This is why you can't let niggas like me win. I'm telling you right now. They can't let niggas like me win because I'm going to be talking shit. I'm going to be talking shit. I'm like, yeah, bitch. Where your nigga at now? Where your nigga at now? Huh? Huh? The first ever two-time K1 Max champion. That nigga's a He's the only man to have become Max's champion twice. His celebrity status ballooned. As I said, Bukal recently it voted. Uh, what up, BMK? How you doing, Kickboxer gang? Magazine is pound for pound the best fighter in the world. I've been good, baby, thriving on top of the world. Can't even be mad. Nothing to complain about. Life just been life in. Okay. God. Hello? Remember the movie Kickboxer with Jean-Claude Van Damme? I used to remember thinking how badass this scene was. Till I saw Buakau split a tree in half with one kick. What? The sport's biggest superstar was fast what becoming was something of a fabled hero. But the people really come here tonight to see Bukau, to hear about him, they want to see him. Working on some stuff? That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm so happy you've been getting to it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Came really back really in the same like the world, still working on that, gang. Okay? Keep doing your uh, thing, baby. There's not I'm proud of you. I hope everything uh, works out for you. Really capable of stepping up and uh, giving him... Stay on task. You feel me? Stay on task. As if the Muay Thai gods had personally molded this man for one purpose. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. No shot. Are you going to little bro me? Did you see him hold his Muay head back? Gods Look at him hold him back. Look at him hold him back. He was like, what's up then? What's up then? Come on in. Come on in. To kick ass. 
34 года. Ну а Хироки Шишида 29 лет, очень опытный боец. At the height of his powers, Boakal made a historic run of 62 wins to just five decision losses. 62? Over 18 years, the champion's bound to teach him a lesson or two. Boakal, 18 years? Oh, he's royalty now. The best fighters on the planet. In a sport where a single misstep can end your career, Buakau had never been stopped. Oh. Our next fighter is a legend in Muay Thai. Ladies love him. Fighters fear him. A dominant force, ready for war, representing Thailand. Buakau! Catch that shit. Ooh! 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 Like, oh, he threw that, he threw that JJ elbow. That's that JJ elbow right there. God, that boy ain't coming to play. were events in Thailand. My nigga, like, what is this? What is this fucking heavily, like, heavenly garden that they're in right now? This looks amazing. The royal family would come out. Fireworks. Music. It was an entire production to honor and celebrate their greatest champion. And while I rented this hammer, this is an atmosphere. We got about 15,000 people packed in the Global Arena here. And Bukau, he's a real superstar. You see the people, they're getting up. They're giving him a standing ovation. Fantastic atmosphere. Of course, in Japan now, on the K1 I would have thought in Japan, it'd be like 90,000. And uh, tonight certainly will be Bukau showcasing why he is the greatest in the world. Did he just barely clip that nigga? Oh, imagine you get knocked out with your ankle. This nigga just knocked the nigga out with his ankle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, a man can only, oh my God. Oh. Here is the man, pound for pound, the world's greatest fighter at this current time. Oh, I see that. That boy is different. Bukau from Thailand. Oh. Boy, Mike Tyson in the clinch. He is renowned for his superior fighting skills. I was thinking that, but the way he fights and the way he fights, he's going to be killed. So it feels like I'm going to meet my death? I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be killed. Hey, float like a butterfly, Shadow, you know what I'm saying? Nah, don't, he already. I'm just putting the jab out. Book out measuring. Oh, we gotta see the black man just get, get his ass kicked like that. Already putting some nice scoring on the oh, judges' scorecards. Ah, 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 ah. See, it sucks. But like he already went in knowing he was gonna lose. Like you gotta come in a little more motivated than that, bro. But I would have told them niggas, listen, don't send me in there to fight Jesus. Please. They sent that nigga straight to God. Like, couldn't I just fight Joseph or somebody? Like, God damn. Real uh, counter fighting strategist. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh, caught him on the chin. Caught him on the chin. Oh, oh mercy, Diva. 
another meeting with rival Sato. It can't even really be a rival if you just keep beating his ass. In the final round, Buakao caught a knee to the liver. Oh! Sato pounced on the wounded white lotus. No! If you're still on your way down, no! you get punted in the head. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and it's legal. No! 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 It was the first time in his career. Oh, he don't tell me now it's going to be one of those things where he just gets uh, dropped uh, every time he gets in the ring now. Oh, please no. Please no. Oh. It was around this time that Buakau, with the aid of the royal family, was trying to be freed from his contract with his gym. It had been a vicious legal fight. As Buakau had shined a light on the corruption of these Muay Thai gyms, who prey on children and steal their money. Oh. Buakau would eventually be freed of his corrupt managers and founded his own gym. Oh damn, he, he moved up. That boy started working on technology. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. The ties have flown over to support Buakau in his return from that devastating knockout. Come on, come on. Come back here. I need you to stay great, baby. Stay great. Stay great. I feel like there's... It's like one thing... It's like one thing about all the fighters I feel like I ever watch. Every time they, like, get a loss like that, it just always ends up, like, fucking up their mental forever. Oh, God, go away. The Bua Cow is traditionally a very slow starter. There was nothing slow about that right hand. Almost like the off. Oh. One kick there from oh. oh, the big kibosh! Oh. The big kibosh! That was a beautiful left hook counter. He bounced back in style with the first round KO. Oh, what a moment this is! Drop it the is shit that nigga, too. One of the greatest Fuck. pleasures to be ringside at a Bua Cow fight. 186 wins. He was knocked out for the first time ever in his career in 2008. His opponent would be the legendary King from PlayStation's Tekken. What? This a real person? Wait, wait. I'm being told that it's actually Andre Dita and okay. not King from Joseph. Joseph, what are we doing? Joseph, what? Joseph. <laughs> I'm about to have a fucking heart attack. Tekken. My I was like, God. holy shit, I didn't know that was even a real nigga. <laughs> Just more capacious in just one round. Dita connected early in the first round and nearly KO'd Buaka. Oh, the big kibosh! The big kibosh! Could we see another upset? This would be a huge upset, Mike! This would be a huge upset, okay? The this, other upset was a huge upset. This would be a gargantuous upset. This would be a career ending upset for Buakau. He could not recover if he gets knocked oh, out. Please don't. Be embarrassing. Please don't. Get knocked out. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Buakau. Come on, Buakau. Come on, Buakau. Come on, Buakau. How is he still standing? I have no idea. What kind of freaking shit? We go to the what a freaky shit with that? Miraculously, Buakau survived the party. round and collected himself. This is more like it from Buakau. You don't want to tussle with him in the Muay Thai. You definitely don't want to take clinch with Buakau. Buakau is going to dump you 10 times out of 10. In the second, Dita's oh. opportunity was gone. He Buakau fucking repeatedly it. connected. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Right, Dida is feeling it. Yeah, Dida is feeling it. Buckow is slowly, you know, obviously taking over this fight. He's also taking the fight out of Dida. Ooh, a high left round kick from Buckow. Man hand.
handling Dita and erasing any Please. memory of the first round. Game plan for oh. the first three minutes. He almost oh. caused a major upset that would have had serious ramifications for Buakau. It may very well have ended Buakau's K1 Max career. Buakau survived and advanced to the next like round of the real. K1 Grand Prix. Again, eat face Andy Sauer. Andy Come on. Sauer. Come on, baby. Knock that nigga out. This is your time. This is your time, baby. This is your time, baby. Time. He's won more world titles than just about any other fighter on the planet. They are heads ahead. Again, Come on, baby. As they have been twice before. Arch enemies inside the ring. Both gentlemen outside the ring. Buakau thoroughly dominated this match. There's the tape kick again to the midsection. Beautiful catch and sweep. He beat Sauer around the ring. Oh. It wasn't even close. Ben Sauer has no answer for him. He, has no, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know if he can come, he should go, he should stay. What? It wasn't even a debate. And yet... I'll do the again? Again? Like... No way. No way. Fair fee. No way. Give it to Bullcat. You already know where I'm going with this. We called it, Mike. We called it. Andy Sauer goes through. He was robbed. I'm disappointed. This is ridiculous. Highway robbery. In my opinion, Buakau should have won three or four straight K1 Max titles. Won ten straight since losing to another very talented fighter, Andy Sauer, in the semifinals of the 2009 K1 World Max Final. And he's already won his first... How is this, like, still a thing happening to this day? Like, this was happening so, so long ago. And to this day, the judges of all, of all sporting events suck. How? It, bro, it's got to be money, bro. It's got to be money, bro. There's got to be like a crazy like upline where like the owner of the event, like he put up like all of the money for the event on one guy. It's got to be something, bro. It's got, bro. Nah, it's got to be deeper than just. It's got to be deeper than just calling the fight. It's got to be, Four fights this year. What more can be said about Buakau Poor Premick? No! Uh, damn, I need to go to Thailand. Shit, try to get me some. This is like why I feel like if you come up in sports nowadays, like your main goal as like a boxer, as a kickboxer, as a UFC guy, whatever, it has to a hundred percent be. No matter what, my opponent is not getting up. Like, that's if I get you to the ground, you're not getting up. In the closing years of his career, he traveled the world, knocking out the best fighters on the planet. With a record of 197 wins, 49 wins coming my way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Why would I be careful of that, bro? You gotta try everything once. fans cheered and revered him girls ran up to the ring to give him flowers wow the event for the wmc world junior middleweight title the bua cow poor premick party here in california tonight that boy blue is not even thinking about the hose he just wanted to knock a nigga oh my god a true oh. superstar in thailand bua cow had transcended sport I would have been like, nigga, you, didn't you just see this bitch just bring me all these roses? You think I'm about to let you drop me in this ring right now? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, brother? And become something much more than an athlete. He was an inspiration to martial artists around the world. He be following through with the hits, bro. His and whole body in the bunches. His whole body is in the bitches. Oh. Oh my God, the ref. Oh my God, the ref. Can't even call it. Is forever etched in the sports history. The power went out. Oh, I'm sorry, Ola. I hope you had your phone charged. <laughs> he 
said, nope, you sound just like me, bro. <laughs> Can't save you. Follow up with a strike. Oh my god, I guess it did hurt. Ain't nobody touching a board film, man. Ain't nobody touching a board film, bro. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the GOAT. Oh, my God.